With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Hunter Shepard followed his successful Bobcats career by going to Duluth and winning a couple of National Hockey Championships as the Bulldogs goaltender. This week's Sports Spotlight would love to do the same. Ben Dacu has the story. The Bobcats 20-year-old goaltender is well-traveled, to say the least. Clayton Knapp's junior hockey journey has taken him to Nebraska, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Now, he's in North Dakota. Obviously, moving around every single year isn't an easy thing to do, um, especially at a younger age when you're starting, but, um, you know, everything happens for a reason, and, you know, everything to this point has happened for a reason, and it's, le it's led to the place I've always wanted to go. That place is college. Clayton has committed to play for the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. However, 17 months ago when he was in the USHL with the Green Bay Gamblers, Clayton's dream hit a massive roadblock. He broke his leg. It was the loudest noise I've ever heard. Um, and I tried to stand up and I fell right back down. And I was, uh, I knew right then and there it was broken. And a lot of people wrote me off, um, wrote me off when I broke my leg, you know, to go to talking to schools and then you break your leg and then, you know, you see another kid that takes your scholarship and stuff like that. And you're kind of just sitting around wondering, you know, what's going to happen. Clayton remains thankful to the training staff in Green Bay for the help with his recovery. Now, the young goaltender is both mentally and physically ready to go. He's went through a lot of adversity and, and a lot of goaltending is uh, maybe 90% mental. Um, you know, it's between the ears and you got to be you got to be um, extremely tough. He didn't know if he'd ever be able to put the pads on again. So for him to come here and, and play the way that he has and be a veteran leader uh, in, in between the, the pipes has been a, been a big, huge, uh, huge lift for us. Though his time in Bismarck so far has been brief, Clayton has made quite the impression on his teammates. I don't think one story in particular really captures it. Like, it's just his everyday personality, you know? The guy's just like, just fun to be around. Always energetic. For the Bobcats, they're still in the race for the NAHL Central Division title and will play Aberdeen on Friday and Saturday in Bismarck. With the spotlight on Clayton Knapp, for your news leader, I'm Ben Dacu. Last year's state champions are this year's team to beat, according to the WDA coaches. Dickinson won the Class A softball title by beating Minot. It was the Midgets' second title in three years. Ava Yonner is back to provide the bulk of the pitching, while head coach Amanda Mickey only lost one player off of last season's roster to graduation. Dickinson beat Minot for that state title last year, and the Midgets are second in the conference poll. The Blue Jays, Patriots, Demons, Sabres, and Braves are next in that order. The season is scheduled to begin next week. And the Gophers won last night, so the Bison women will play in Minneapolis on Friday in the round of 16 of the WNIT. NDSU beat Montana to advance earlier this week. Yeah, be good to see. All right, we'll be back with more after this.